six people. Also, twin bombings at the U.S. embassies in Nairobi, Kenya, and Dar es Salaam in Tanzania in 1998. 224 people were killed in those blasts. Bin Laden was also linked to the attack on the USS Cole in Yemen in 2000. That killed 17 American sailors. And after 9-11, Bin Laden was also linked to the July 7, 2005 bombings in London. Three bombs went off during morning rush hour, killing 52 people. Now, with the death of Osama Bin Laden, the new concern is who will replace him. Former CIA Director Michael Hayden spoke with our John King earlier and says there are at least one candidate to fill Bin Laden's shoes. I'd always talked about this when people said what would happen if Bin Laden would die and be removed from the scene. He's not very active. He doesn't have operational control. I'm not so sure that's totally true, but he certainly was an iconic figure. But he was a Yemeni Saudi iconic figure. And there's always been a bit of a divide inside Al-Qaeda between the Gulf Arabs and the Egyptians. Zawahiri, the number two, is an Egyptian. Let's see Al-Qaeda go through a succession crisis. So, so who is, in your mind, the face of global terror right now? Is it Al-Sawari, the Egyptian, the number two to Osama bin Laden, or is it a 40-year-old American, Al-Awaki, Al-Qaeda, in the Arabian Peninsula? And I know Mike Leiter, the head of the National Counterterrorism Center, has said the most potent threat to the homeland right now is coming from Yemen. But specifically to answer your question, who is the most potent global face of terrorism? I think it's uh, Zawahiri, uh, somewhere along the Afghan-Pakistan border. What, do this, what have the detainees told you over the year about the Al-Qaeda playbook? I assume that they knew that perhaps bin Laden someday would be killed or captured. Do they have a plan to retaliate, to attack in the event of that? I don't know about a plan specifically. Um, I would expect it. You, 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 would, you would now feel, and I, I know Secretary Napolitano, D Director Panetta, others uh, have, have indicated we could see a spasmodic, violent response from Al-Qaeda, even with plans that are not yet fully hatched. They, they need to reestablish their street creds, so to speak. So for the near term, we may have actually entered a more dangerous period. But over the long term, th this is a great success. And General Hayden says the greatest danger right now lies in attacks from low-level terrorists working independently of the terror network. Well, we have much more ahead.